And what I, the way that I would approach kind of prompting AI to make changes is to start with a big change. And then if the big change isn't working, go into those smaller changes. Because if you can get a big change to be done successfully using the AI tool, then that's great. That will save you a bunch of time. And sometimes you can get really lucky with AI and that it's just able to kind of like one shot these requests like really, really well. It's done this one here pretty well. And so you can kind of, and then only to kind of make smaller changes if those kind of big changes aren't working or if you're kind of getting stuck in a loop going round and round. And so now we've got more what I was looking for. I'm also gonna do some UI improvements here as well. But before we do that, let's jump into some of the features in Base44 and why it works as this kind of all in one platform. So you've got very similar to you have with other tools, you've got your discuss mode, as we mentioned, and you've got visual edit. So you can kind of click on any of these elements and then give either edit some of the some of the stuff in this editor in the chat here or you can just use that as a reference for the chat to actually um, make changes on you can also come down here to the settings and you can change the ai model that you're using so i'm going i'm just actually going to use the claude sonnet 4 because that's the model that i like to use for doing code changes and so you can kind of switch between Claude Sonnet 4 and Gemini 2.5 Pro here. You also have AI controls. So this is really interesting where you can like give custom instructions to your um, to base 44 in terms of how it should behave. So this would be like a, a rules file if you're if you're familiar with using cursor, but this just gives it kind of clear instructions as to how it should build things. And so what you can do is if you have a detailed style guide, you can kind of put the style guide in here and say always use this style guide and it will kind of always use that. Or if you just want to say like just make really simple changes like that can be quite a good way to kind of prompt it. Um, and so I'm just going to add in here like only do what the user asks and don't make any other changes. And so one other thing that you can do here as well is you can freeze specific files. So if you think, well, the dashboard page, that's finished. Okay, we'll come in here, we'll freeze that file and that will stop the AI from actually going and changing all of these other pages that you want. So you have a bit more specific control over what you're working on.